What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Wright and we're here to show you how you too can do amazing barbecue. Today's episode is going to be short, simple, and to the point. Steak, ribeye, on the Green Mountain Grill, over grill grates, cherry pellets, over grill grates, hot and fast. I've tried to do this before without enough luck, but now after a little bit of research and fixing some things that we had in error on our side, we're going to go ahead and give this a second try. Starting off with a simple ribeye from Costco. We're gonna season it up with a little bit of Killer Hogs TX Rub, which is basically SPG. Let's go. All right, guys, and there you have it. Grill's already been running at about 380 with grill grates on top, which is gonna give us an extra 100 to 125 degrees. So we're gonna get it onto the grill, smoking hot, and start this fast cook. Let's go. As you can see guys, we're out here on the grill, 380. I'm gonna go ahead, open the lid, and get this thing on, and get it going hot and fast. All right, we're gonna drop the lid, count for two minutes, open back up, flip it. All right, two minutes is up. We've got an insulated glove on, we're gonna open the GMG and rotate. Drop it down, two minutes again. One of the great things about cooking a steak is the excitement. Making sure you're waiting the amount of time that you're supposed to wait. And for those of us who like great cross hatches, praying that you got the angles right to make sure you got it correct the first time. So let's see what we got. Two minutes up, we're gonna pick this one up and flip it. I think that's pretty good. Let's get it down. Close the lid back down, two minutes on the timer. Got a little distracted, but we're back. Two minutes is up. I'm gonna open up, flip one more time. Great cost hatch, I'm gonna rotate 45 degrees. Press down. Keep the smoke rolling. Ah, but before we do, Go ahead and take our tip and see where we are. We want to be around the 145 mark because we like a nice medium steak. Currently, we're not even close, so we're just going to let this thing roll. Be right back. Progress update. Let's lift the lid. She looks great. Back up. A little less smoke release. That's what we like to see, boys and girls back down let her finish out this is a ribeye all right guys our steak is done and has been resting for about eight minutes we're going to go ahead and slice in but before we do that we're going to talk about a few things a few things i know some people are going to bring up in the comments is the temperature i only started at 380 almost 400 degrees halfway through that i upped it to about 400 415 i did this for a particular reason um, I've had an issue in the past with flare-ups while having the downdraft attached to my GMG. I was able to fix that issue by doing a very good burn-off and finally being able to do 400 degrees plus without flare-ups. So I wanted to do this grill at high heat, 380 plus, to see if I could pull off two things, great grill marks and a hot and fast steak. Now round time was about 15 minutes. So next time I'll most definitely go in a lot faster and it'll be done a lot quicker. But we finished on an elevated rack to get it to the 145 we needed. We actually pulled it at about 147.5. So when we cut in, we should see a nice medium pink in the middle, which is how we like our steaks. So we're gonna go ahead and get to the magic. That's what we wanted. Nice medium steak in the middle, guys. So as you can see, nice, amazing rose center. Medium, 145 plus. Didn't ride it too far. It's the other side. Really juicy on the interior, as you can see. We're gonna go ahead, get some slices in. That's 
it's nothing like an amazing steak. Furthermore, there's nothing like an amazing steak that you can do on your own at home. Cheers. Amazing taste, good crust. Simple SPG, Kilohawks Texas brisket rub. An amazing end result, guys. I'm very happy about this. To be able to accomplish it the way I want it to. Next time we'll go higher heat and go a lot faster and probably end up with an even better steak. So this is us doing our due diligence and learning how to do steak better. We're not an expert, but we're most definitely pushing for greatness. That being said, thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time, I always come back every Tuesday and Thursday and sometimes Fridays and Saturdays. And I always remember, you two can do amazing barbecue the right way. See you next time.